In this video, we're going to work through the calculations of this titration experiment using first principles. Now I'm going to skip part A, B, C and D and we're going to jump straight into the calculations and that is part E. Now I want you to find this exam paper and pick out the key information. You can pause the video now, pick out the key information that we're going to need to solve part E. So pause the video now. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this now. So the key information that we're told is that four tablets are used in this experiment and that the mass of each tablet is 0.36 of a gram. Now these tablets were crushed up and made up to a volume of 250 centimeters cubed. Then 25 centimeters cubed of this iron solution was used. Now we're also told that the concentration of our KMNO4 is equal to 0 0.01 molar and another way of saying that is moles per litre. And of this, uh, and of this KMNO4, <coughs> a titer of 13.9 centimetres cubed was used in the experiment. And finally, our molar ratio in this experiment of our MNO4 minus to our Fe2 plus is 1 is to 5. And that comes from this equation here. So we can see that we have got 1 MNO4 and 5 Fe2 plus. So 1 mole is to 5 moles. So for every 1 mole of our MNO4, we have 5 moles of our iron. Now jumping straight into part E. And in the first part of this question, we are asked to calculate the concentration of Fe2 plus, our iron solution, in moles per litre. Now to do this, there's a process that we need to follow. We need to find how many moles of our MnO4 minus ion are used in the experiment. Then we're going to use the molar ratio to find the number of Fe2 plus moles used. And finally, we're going to find this concentration in moles per litre. So part one here. And from our key information that you picked out, we know that the concentration of our MnO4 negative ion is 0 0.01 molar. So this is what we need to start with. And another way of writing that is in moles per liter. It's the same thing. And then another way of writing the same thing again is again 0 0.01 moles of our MnO4 minus ion per 1000 centimeters cubed. So we've gone from moles to moles per liter to moles per 1000 centimeters cubed and nothing has changed here. They're all the exact same thing. But we used in this experiment 13.9 centimeters cubed of our MnO4 ion, not 1000 centimeters cubed. So we need to find how many moles of our MnO4 ion are in 13.9 centimeters cubed. So we need to divide by 1000 to get to go from 1000 centimeters cubed to 1 centimeter cubed. So by dividing our 0 0.01 by 1000, we get 1 by 10 to the minus 5 moles of MnO4 
per 1000 centimeters cubed. So again, this is just for one centimeter cubed. We want for 13.9 centimeters cubed. So now what do we need to do? We need to multiply by 13.9. And by multiplying this number here by 13.9, we get 1.39 by 10 to the minus four moles of MnO4 negative per 13.9 centimeters cubed. So now we know how many moles of our MnO4 negative ion are used. Now, this is where our molar ratio comes into play. We know that we have a molar ratio of MnO4 minus to Fe2 plus, and that ratio is one is to five. So for every one mole of this, we have five moles of this. So we know we've got this amount of our MnO4 minus, we need to know how much Fe2 plus that's going to be. So what we need to do now is we need to multiply by five. And by multiplying by five, our 1.39 by 10 to the minus four by five, we get 6.95 by 10 to the minus four moles. And this time, not of MnO4 negative ion, this time moles of iron. Now remember, going back to our key information, we know that this amount of iron is for 25 centimeters cubed. That's all that was put into the conical flask in this experiment. So this is moles of iron per 25 centimeters cubed. But again, we're not looking for 25 centimeters cubed, we're looking for moles per liter. So what we need to do now is we need to find one centimeter cubed and then multiply by 1000. So to find one centimeter cubed we are going to divide by 25 and that will give us 2.78 by 10 to the minus 5 moles per one centimeter cubed. Now remember, there is 1,000 centimeters cubed in a liter. So we need to multiply by 1,000, multiplying this by 1,000, and that will give us 0 0.0278 moles of Fe2 plus per 1,000 centimeters cubed. And this is exactly where we want to be. And another way of writing this is our 0 0.0278 moles of Fe2 plus per liter. And that is exactly what we were asked for the first part of the question. Now, moving on to the second part. We are asked to calculate the mass of Fe2 plus in one tablet. Now we know from the first part that we just did that the concentration of Fe2 plus is 0 0.0278 moles per liter. Now we need to convert moles of iron to grams of iron. So how are we going to do this? We need to convert from moles to grams. So what you need to do now is you need to go to the periodic table and find the molecular weight of Fe of iron. And the molecular weight of Fe, which you should have found, is 55.85 grams per mole. Now we can use this information 
to convert from our moles of iron per litre to our grams of iron. So to do this, we need to multiply. We need to multiply our 0 0.0278 moles per litre, and this is how you know what to do, by 55.85 grams per mole. So the units here are telling us exactly what we need to do. Because what's going to happen here is our moles and our moles are going to cancel out. And this is going to leave us with a unit of grams per litre. So now we've gone from moles to grams. And this equals 1.55 grams of iron per litre. But going back to our key information, we made up our solution to 250 centimeters cubed. So we're actually not interested in a liter here now. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide by 1000. So 1.55 grams divided by 1000 is equal to 1.55 by 10 to the minus 3 grams and this is going to be grams per centimeter cubed. Now we're interested in 250 centimeters cubed. Our next step is to multiply by 250. So 1.55 by 10 to the minus 3 multiplied by 250 equals 0 0.39 grams of Fe2 plus per 250 centimeters cubed. And this, going back to our key information, this is for four tablets of iron. We're asked for just one tablet. So what we need to do now is we need to divide by four. And this will give us 0 0.097 grams of iron per tablet and this is exactly what we were asked for in part two here the mass of iron in one tablet now moving on to part three our last part we need to calculate the percentage by mass of fe2 plus in each tablet. Now from what we just calculated, we know that the mass of Fe2 plus in one tablet is 0 0.097 grams. And going back to our key information, we also know that the mass of each tablet is 0 0.36 grams. So we can use this information to calculate our percentage. So to calculate our percentage, it's going to be our, our mass of our iron in one tablet divided by the total mass of the tablet multiplied by 100%. And this will give us 26.67% of Fe2 plus in each tablet. So what we've done now is we have found the concentration of our Fe2 plus solution in moles per litre and that was 0 0.0278 moles per litre. For the second part, the mass of Fe2 plus in one tablet was 0 0.097 grams. And finally, the percentage by mass of 
Fe2 plus in each tablet was 26.67%. Now, that finishes this question. But what you should do now is try higher level chemistry question one from the 2009 paper. This is a very similar question and it'll give you an opportunity to practice what we've just learned.